Welcome back, chemists. In this video, we're going to learn how to convert between pressure units. Uh, ATM is one of the most common units in chemistry called atmosphere. Another one is MMHG called millimeters of mercury. Uh, after that, I would say TOR, named after Evangelista Torricelli. And then you have KPA, which is kilopascals, and PSI, pounds per square inch. KPA is commonly used in physics, and pounds per square inch, I would say we use it in everyday life for our bike tires and our car tires. So what I'm gonna do first is show how all these are related to each other by a certain amount or a value. Uh, one ATM is equal to 760 MMHG or 760 Tor. It's equal to 101.325 KPA, 101 comma, meaning thousand, 325, so 101,325 pascals, PA. And then one ATM equals 14.7 PSI. So you're gonna need those to do these calculations correctly. Before we do one, just be patient. Let's make sure we understand what pressure is first. It's force per unit area. It's given the symbol P. It's created in chemistry, especially by particles colliding with the walls of a sealed container and usually gas particles. Pressure is altered by temperature, volume, and moles, given the symbol N for moles. And it's got a variety of units. I listed some, but there really are uh, others, okay? So here we go. Let's learn how to convert between these units. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna convert from KPA to ATM. Uh, what you'll do is, I made these little conversion cards. So on this side, there's the, the beginning KPA. And then we're gonna convert to ATM. So this one, I have 101.325 on the top and one ATM on the bottom. And then the other side, because again, we can make a reciprocal of these. They are conversions. We can have the 101.325 on the bottom and the ATM on the top. The goal is to get to ATM. So, kind of look, you know, does that look uh, right? And it is. Uh, this way we would, you know, cancel out KPA and we'd get to ATM. So here we go, let's write this down. We're gonna start with 95.7 KPA. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert and we're gonna have 101.325 kilopascals on the bottom in the denominator, which means we're gonna divide, and then that one ATM in the numerator. So grab your calculator and let's calculate the answer here things sliding all over here. Um, let's go. So 95.7 divided by 101.325 equals 0.94448. That's a lot of digits. So what I'm going to do again is only keep three. So here's what the, the uh, calculator says. Um, that's way more than three. So again, my goal here is to keep just three significant figures. Um, this would be ATM. So 0.944, now why am I keeping only three? Is because my given here had three sig figs and then this has uh, six if not more. Uh, so usually we don't worry about how many significant figures are in the conversion, just in the given amount because you measured this in lab or something um, in real life. So that's the value that we're gonna use to create the significant figures at the end, okay? So there's the first one. All right, on to the next one. I'm move these here around. So here's number two. And at any point in time, if you want to pause the video and figure it out yourself before I tell you, you can. So here's uh, example problem two. So we're going to try to convert from ATM. So 2.38 ATM. And then we're going to try to convert to a millimeters of mercury. So ATM has to be on the bottom. And MMHG is on the top. So um, here is the conversion that I made, 760 MMHG over 1 ATM, and then the reciprocal would be uh, the ATM on the top and that on the bottom. Here's my little starting point card, and that looks um, wrong. Uh, oops, that's not our starting point card, that's our ending point card, right? And our beginning is actually starting with ATM, so you can kind of catch your mistake. So that's not going to work. I need this one, so I want 1 ATM on the bottom and 760 on the top. And again, don't worry about how many significant figures there are. It's your beginning one that matters. This one would have more than just three. Uh, so then we have to multiply these. So where's my calculator? There she is. So 2.38 times 760. All right, so one, oh, oops, one, eight. Making lots of mistakes today. Point eight, and then MMHG. 
But again, we can only keep three significant figures. There's three right there. So this will have to be rounded to 1810. That zero is not significant, it's just a placeholder. And on to the next calculation. Hopefully I don't have any mistakes this time. Number three. Here it is. So take a look again. This one's a little harder. Um, this one, we're gonna go from Tor to KPA. So what's interesting is we're gonna start with Tor and then we wanna convert to KPA. So if you're using these cards, here's what makes this one a little bit trickier is um, I wanna go from Tor to maybe ATM and then I would have to go from ATM to KPA so it could need two conversions or the better thing to do is to put these two conversions into one. So what would that look like? You put 641 uh, Tor and then what you would do is take these two, since they're both one ATM, you would say that 760 Tor is the same as 101.325 KPA. And it's okay, we can have a number in the denominator and in the numerator, like that's a legit thing you can do. So 641 divided by 760 times 101.325. And we get 85, slide that over, 85.459. Again, can't keep them all, so I'm gonna stop writing. How many can we keep? Again, I did the same thing, three sig figs. And again, don't worry about those conversions, they have more than three. And then 0.5, we'd have to round up. All right, so this next one, you try it, okay? So when I put it on here, you pause the video and you give it a shot. So one, two, three, pause. And then I'll give you the answer. All right, so here's the answer. You get 1,840, here was the number in the calculator. And again, I can only keep three, so that's a trailing zero. Uh, and whether I used it in two steps or I wrote them um, you know, all in one, get the same answer either way. Okay, last but not least, we have to kind of figure out what pressure is and how you change it. So what I did is I drew some particulate views. So let me go back to this first um, picture here. It's uh, particle collisions with the walls of the container, and we can change it with temperature, volume, and moles. So here's like my starting one. I've got five particles, let's say five moles or something, in a certain volume. It's got a certain pressure, let's say two ATM. If I add more moles, so I added, I think, like double here, um, I would get, with no change in volume and no change in temperature, I would get a higher pressure. I'm only changing one variable, just more moles because there's more collisions with the walls, the container, there's more particles. If I made there be less volume, let me take this one away for a second, so still five particles, so still the same amount of moles, same temperature, but I changed the volume to be lower, these particles would collide with the walls of the container more often and create a higher pressure. The last thing you can do is maybe lower the temperature, little smaller like vector arrows here showing that we're not gonna collide with the walls of the container as much, Five particles, again, don't change more than one variable here. And then same here, five particles, again, colliding with the walls of the container more often because the temperature is higher, they're moving more rapidly. So there is my vector arrow showing how they move more. And then I'm just gonna show these on all at once so you can kind of see all the different changes you can make uh, changing one variable at a time. So I hope that video helped. Again, it was all about trying to convert between pressure units, but it really is important that you know what pressure is um, before you just convert between these units um, and you get an understanding before you start more gas law calculations.